idioms give language flavor. So if you're able to master idioms, you will sound super, super fluent. Are you ready? Hi guys, my name is Abu, an English teacher from London, and I teach people from all around the world, just like you. If you're interested in learning English, I think it's a good idea to subscribe. Okay, let's get started. Today, I'm going to be teaching you the 10 most useful idioms related to health. So let's get started with common idioms related to health. health. So in this lesson, we're going to explore phrases used to describe health and well-being. These phrases often offer a glimpse into nuances of how we perceive and discuss our physical and mental states. Okay, the first one we have is under the weather. Now this means you're feeling unwell or sick. Okay, for example... I didn't go to work today because I was feeling under the weather. Remember, idioms are not literal. They're ways to express how you feel, what you're thinking, etc. So you try and make a sentence with under the weather. Okay, next up we have back on your feet. Now, when you're under the weather, when you get better, you recover, right? So back on your feet means to recover from an illness or difficult situation. So, for example, after a week of rest, she's finally back on her feet. So, imagine you were sick for a week from COVID or some other illness, and you were under the weather. When you're better, you can tell your friends and family, oh, I'm back on my feet now. This can also be used when you're, for example, say, struggling financially, and you have no money. Then you can say, oh, I'm back on my feet, which means I've recovered from my financial problems. Next up, we have in the pink. Okay, so in the pink of health. So it means basically you're in very good health. Don't ask me why it's pink, but it is. For example, an 80 year old, so at 80 years old, my grandmother is still in the pink of health, which means she's still very, very healthy and in good health. So ask yourself, are you in the pink? Make a sentence. I'm in the pink. I'm not in the pink, etc. Okay, next up we have fit as a fiddle. Now, I, I really like this one. It's quite funny and I, I like the idea of a fiddle. It's like a violin. Anyway, okay. Fit as a fiddle means you're in excellent physical condition. You're very strong. Maybe you go to the gym, etc. So, even after the long hike, he was fit as a fiddle. Now, I think I'm fit as a fiddle. I hope so. Are you fit as a fiddle? Think of someone who is fit as a fiddle and try to make a sentence. Like, oh, my brother is as fit as a fiddle. My friend is as fit as a fiddle, etc. The more you speak, the better you will become. So don't give up, guys. Keep going. Okay, next up we have on the mend. Now, this is a very, very, very good um, idiom to remember. So this means you're recovering from an illness or injury. So imagine you broke your leg. It's been two weeks and someone asks you, how are you? You can say, oh, I'm doing okay. I'm on the mend, which means I'm recovering from the injury. Another example, after the surgery, he's been on the mend. Okay, now think of a sentence. Ask yourself if you've been on the mend, how long it took you to recover how long you are on the mend for? Okay, this one's not so good, but it's also common. It's death. The idiom is at death's door. So this means to be extremely ill and possibly very close to dying. Um, he was so sick last year. Sorry, he was so sick last week that he seemed to be at death's door. Now. I'm not going to ask you if you've been at death's door, but maybe we know somebody who has, right? This is a good way of expressing that. It's a very serious situation, right? Guys, if you like what you see so far, click the subscribe button so we can see each other later and tap the bell notification. Next, we have take a turn for the worst, meaning to become sicker or more ill. So imagine you're ill and it doesn't get better, it gets worse. You can say, he or she took a turn for the worse. So for example, she seemed to be improving, but last night 
she took a turn for the worst. So that's unfortunate. It happens. One thing guaranteed to all of us is we will get sick one day. Let's hope we don't take a turn for the worst when we do get sick. Okay, second up, we have get a second wind. So get a second wind means to regain energy or strength after feeling tired. So imagine you're running a marathon. You're running, you're running, you're exhausted, running. Then after a short rest, I got a second wind and finished the race. Guys, you don't need a second wind. You guys are very strong, very fit, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Next, we have a clean bill of life. Um, so this is a statement of assessment that someone is healthy. So, sorry, a clean bill of health. Did I say life? Yeah, a clean bill of health. So the doctor might say to you, you have a clean bill of health after a medical check. So for example, after the checkup, the doctor gave her a clean bill of health. Okay, so ask yourself, did the doctor give you a clean bill of health? So guys, that was 10 idioms related to health. It would definitely be a good idea to go back, listen to each idiom again, pause the video, maybe take a note down and try to memorize it, but not just memorize it, use it, speak it, say it. That's the only way you're going to get better. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're interested in me being your teacher, I teach private and group classes. Click the link in the description for more information. Bye-bye for now.